nigga. Like I'm one of your side bras and I done forgot about it, nigga. It's gonna be fuck you then, it's gonna be fuck you now, nigga. I told you, Earl, you. Fuck you, nigga. You, nigga. No other nigga. You, I told you, fuck you, nigga. Either one the bad God is black. God is black. Everybody knows God is white. Everything the white man taught you, you accepted. He taught you you were a black heathen and you believed him. He taught you to worship a blonde, blue-eyed Jesus with white skin and you believed him. He taught you that black was a curse and you believed that. Did you ever look up the word black and... good youtube family this your god bless one thank you for watching another podcast of i smoke hip-hop i'm about to show you guys a clip of one mr whack 100 and another rapper by the name of e40 who's a west coast legend not just a west coast legend a hip-hop legend well there's been a feud of war of words and things has transpired since then apparently whack 100 heard E40 talking crap about him in a situation in the studio where one of WAC 100 friends were still in the facility and they got that news and rumor and spread it to WAC 100 who then responded with this video right here. After the video, I'm gonna give you guys my synopsis and how I feel about this situation. But check this video out right here, where Mr. Wack 100 decides to go in on E40, and E40 casually goes to the Warrior game and ignores it. Let me tell you what a whole nigga do. You tell him, nigga, fuck you, you bitch ass nigga. I don't fuck with you. He turn around and go call everybody else and start adding names to it. No, nigga, I told you, E-40, I don't fuck with you. Nigga, now they called your phone, nigga. You don't want to pick up, nigga. I told you two months ago I didn't fuck with you. What the fuck shit you did, nigga? Nigga, so ain't no reason for you to call me, nigga. Like I'm one of your side bras and I done forgot about it, nigga. It's gonna be fuck you then, it's gonna be fuck you now, nigga. I told you, Earl, you. Fuck you, nigga. You, nigga. No other nigga. You, I told you, fuck you, nigga. Either run the bag, nigga, or it ain't happening. You know what time it is, nigga. Fuck ass shit you doing, nigga. Since you want to play this game, I'll play back with your ass, nigga. Like that. <laughs> personal opinion on the situation is when you have names such like E40 in the midst of a beef like this, WAC 100 should know better than to take it up the way he's taking it. But then again, who am I to tell another grown man and what not to say and what to say to somebody else who they feel they may have been slided towards? Because we've all been in WAC 100 situation where we thought we were cool with somebody. And then we heard it, the word through the streets, through somebody we're cool with, where that particular person has been rambling, talking bad about us behind her name. Like, I've been in that situation several times. I just personally feel maybe it was miscommunication, or maybe you never know that one person you're cool with may not like E-40, and they kind of instigated or put, pushed the situation further than what it should have been. You know, the he say, she say. And I personally feel that E-40 
if he did do this behind the scenes, he should watch who he speaks about and who he speaks about it too, because there's snakes everywhere. Not saying that he's not a snake himself for saying what he said, but at the same time, if you want to speak on matters like that, do it strategically and do it smart enough where you don't have a lot of people entangling and mixing in your business. And E40, I'm not E40, W, uh, I mean, WAP 100 should question and interrogate friends when they bring information like that that could be damning but it looks like WAC 100 doesn't really give a damn it looks like WAC 100 is really going in and we all know WAC 100 is not one to you know be careful in what he says and chooses to say so all this could have avoided problems i don't know what money WAC 100 is talking about because as you can see WAC 100 also gave e ford an ultimatum he gave him a countdown of less than 24 hours to come up with the complete bag not half not here not middle there he wants the whole bag so maybe he's alluding to e40 owing the money last time i checked WAC 100 is the manager of blueface and blueface is like the new reincarnated version of e40 so you would think these guys would have a better relationship so let's see in the future does it hurt relationships between the bay area rapper e40 and one um blue face so i don't know man like you guys some in the conversation what do you guys make of this do you guys think e40 is correct that he should just continue ignoring this do you think what 100 has a obligated reason and task to attack anybody who steals his money or talk about it i don't know like do you guys think this is gonna get worse? You guys tell me in the comment section. Until then, I'm your God Bless One. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. Like, share, and subscribe. What's good, YouTube family? I just wanted to tell you guys, let's not forget the great Nipsey Hussle. Since we're on this particular conversation, let's donate and help his marathon clothing line become the brand new face of this culture. Like I told you guys, I want the marathon clothing line to be the brand new Gucci, what it was to many other black people who love to explore and expand in these European fashions. Well, how about making our very own clothing from our own very own people become the brand new high fashion? Looks for the links in the description box that will bring you to Nipsey Hussle's The Marathon Clothing Line online clothing store. Make sure you go get yourself a pair of one of these great high fashion clothing. Nipsey Hussle's name will not be forgotten, although he was laid the rest of recently, but we will continue keeping his name alive. Legends like that never die. They continue and gather around. And Crenshaw will never forget the legend that Nipsey is because he's a legend to us all. And guys, if you would like to support the, my channel and my platform, if you would like to donate, I have two paypals you can donate in the description box where you can find the links also you can donate to my cash app i smoke hip-hop i'll be very grateful to anybody who donates and i can look out and help any other kind of ways look to your left and look to your right click on one of these great videos that i have for you up in my playlist or you can click right here make sure you like share and subscribe it's very important that you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell refresh your page hit that notification bell again one love everybody